Episode five: Romeo knows where to go. When we say Romeo is autonomous, we mean it. Not remote controlled, not joystick operated, fully autonomous. Autonomy isn't new. Companies like Waymo and Tesla have been working it for over a decade. Waymo has logged over 20 million miles on public roads before they felt ready to remove the safety driver. Tesla's autopilot system is now fully autonomous, and they've launched a fully autonomous taxi service in Austin. In the delivery robot world, companies like KiwiBot and Serve have spent years fine-tuning their slow-speed sidewalk bots. It's a long road. And we're one of the few companies that have it, and we're in very good company. Over the past five years, we've logged thousands and thousands of autonomous operating hours. And when we set Romeo up at a new site, we take about an hour or two for some training in the environment in order to make sure that it's going to operate the way that the customer wants. From that point, it's fully autonomous. Almost every day, Romeo logs hours on demonstration patrol routes across the United States. These aren't simulations. This is real-world, real-use deployment. Additionally, we've built Romeo to operate in a communications-denied environment, which is fancy for saying an environment where GPS is obstructed and cellular connectivity isn't available. The robot needs to operate on its own. And we get this done because, in addition to GPS, we use lidars, inertial navigation, as well as 360-degree vision systems. We detect obstacles. We predict the paths. We predict the pathways of vehicles and pedestrians. We avoid people and vehicles. We update our route in route, and we do it all on its own. This is level five autonomy. It handles narrow lanes, gateway entry points, and complex outdoor terrain. It returns to its charger, charges up, and gets ready to hit the road again. That's the level that we're at. No remote intervention, no babysitting, just reliable, repeatable, consistent performance. Full autonomy requires trust, and Romeo is earning that trust with thousands of hours on duty. In the next episode, we'll show you how Romeo gets itself back to base when the mission is done. Because knowing where to go is only half the story. You also have to know when it's time to head home. We walk the route. He locks it in. Every curve, every gate, every place he's been knows the lots, the lanes, the flow, where he should patrol. And where not to go? Eyes on the scene, AI on patrol, spotting cars, trucks, folks, and more. Romeo knows where to. Go.